How do you think children feel when they're cursed or verbally insulted or they're demeaned or humiliated? You know, I was approached by a young boy the other day and he said to me, my father doesn't care about me. He calls me stupid, he calls me donkey and he keeps wishing I was never born. I know that he hates me, so I hate him back. You know, what a tragedy it is for any person, let alone a child, to feel this way. Children have emotional needs. And if they're neglected, it results in the child being defiant and really unsettled. You know, they need warmth, love, mercy, companionship. You know, whenever the prophet, peace and blessings of God be upon him, he passed by children, he would greet them. He would put his hands on their heads and he would pick up the small ones and place them in his arms. I come across parents all the time. And you know, they simply can't put their own emotions aside and connect with their child through positive speaking and instruction. Anasib and Malik, may God be pleased with him, he said, I served the Prophet for 10 years. I lived with him for 10 years. And not once, not a single occasion, did he ever say, why did you do this? And he never said to me, why didn't you do that? The reality is that the home was always meant to be a safe place. And no father or mother can pass on any life skills or develop a strong moral personality without having that strong bond. Harshness yields nothing. And the home needs to be an atmosphere of benevolence. You see, not a single person has any reason not to smile in the face of their child. The Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of God be upon him, he lost his mother. He lost his father. He lost his grandfather. He lost his uncle. He lost two of his wives. He lost his sons. And yet, do you know what the most consistent practice of his was? It was his smile. He would smile in the face of every person. Start with a gift if you must. And Mother Aisha, she said, gift one another, gift one another, for it adds between the bonds of affection amongst you. You know, cold stone faces towards children, grumpiness, cold heartedness, sharp tongues should have no place at all in any family. The Prophet was once witnessed kissing and cuddling his grandsons. One Bedouin, who was an onlooker, he said, I have 10 sons and I've never kissed any one of them. The Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of God be upon him, he said, if God has taken the mercy from your heart, what can I do for you? 